Hello, Ray Franklin here, and I'm going to ask you a question. Do you know what the shortest verse in the Bible is? That's right, Jesus wept. It shows the humanity of Jesus. He was God, and yet he became man. He knew our feelings, he knew our joys, our sufferings. And talking about joys and sufferings, or joys and tears, I'm going to show you some pictures. I've got here a couple of smiley faces. Put those there, and let's pick up the next two. And you find we've got a smiley face, and not so smiley, and it's got a teardrop. So, you put those there. And we've got another pair of sad faces with tears. Well, I like to be happy. I'm not always happy, but most of the time I try to be. But there are times when we are sad. And there's times when I feel like crying. There's nothing wrong in crying. Just there's nothing wrong with being happy. So, let's show our pictures again of tearfulness. Got one, two, and three. If I put this one on here and this one on here and the last one goes here there we are smile 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 because we're happy and then again we have Tearfulness. Tears, tears, tears. Well, life isn't separated like that. We're all happy and then we're all sad. Because sometimes it gets muddled up, muddled up. And sometimes we're happy, sometimes we're sad. Sometimes we're happy and sometimes we're sad. Sometimes we're happy and sometimes we are sad. Well, let's just take one of these smiley faces off. It's a bit like mine, isn't it? Not really. But I'm going to put this smiley face into my bag. And guess what? Do you really want to say a big smile? You do. Now that is my big smile. Now I told you at the beginning that the shortest verse in the Bible shows a lot of the humanity of Jesus. I said it was Jesus wept. There are three other scriptures that come to mind. One is Luke 19, 41. And Jesus wept after seeing those he loved cry and after witnessing the tomb of Lazarus. Because Lazarus was a friend of Jesus and had recently died. It should remind us that the love of God has for us. His adopted sons and daughters. Because that's what we are. We are children of the high of God. And it shows how it pains him to see us suffer. Jesus shows compassion and suffers with his friends. Yet there is light in the darkness and Jesus turns the tears of sorrow into tears of joy. Then we can really then start to smile again as he raises Lazarus from the dead. 
Another passage that comes to mind is John 11:35. Jesus see in Jerusalem and the sight brings his tears because he sees the sins of the past and the future and it breaks his heart. As a loving father, God hates to see us turn away from him. However, we refuse and follow our own ways. Our sins make Jesus weep. He weeps for us. But the good news is that Jesus is always there to welcome us back. That's it. It's never far away. In fact, he never leaves our side. We might not look in his direction and look our own way, but he's always there. And we say, come, come back, come back. And he does so with open arms. And the third passage that comes to mind is Hebrews 5, 7 to 9. While it's not always necessary to cry, in prayer, it highlights the reality that God desires a contrite heart. He wants our prayers to be the expression of who we are. He doesn't want us to copy someone else's prayer. He wants that prayer to come from us, from our heart. Prayer shall be encompassed our entire being, even praying with our emotions. When we talk, we get emotional at that time, we get passionate for something and we just let it all come out. And sometimes those emotions flow with tears, sometimes tears of happiness, or sometimes Tears of joy, sadness. Sadness brings joy because we know who puts that big smile on our face. Jesus Christ, our Lord. And I hope you know someone who can make you smile. And I hope that someone is Jesus. Jesus.